These are the times celebrities fired back at disrespectful interviewers. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey isn't one to shy away from a tough conversation, but his appearance on The View took a sharp turn when the topic of gun control came up. What started as a routine discussion quickly turned into a heated exchange, with McConaughey pushing back against accusations that he's anti-gun. The actor, who has consistently spoken out about the need for gun reform, didn't waste any time setting the record straight. When one of the hosts implied that his views could be seen as a stance against gun ownership, McConaughey calmly but firmly corrected them. He made it clear that he supports responsible gun ownership, but also believes in measures like background checks and closing loopholes to prevent further violence. As the conversation escalated, so did McConaughey's passion. His frustration became evident when he bluntly told the interviewer, you are completely insane, making it clear that he wasn't going to be misrepresented. His point? Advocating for reform doesn't mean being against guns. It means being for safety and accountability. It's useful. Let me go through Do you think you could get elected in Texas being anti-gun? Do I think I could get elected in Texas being anti-gun? One thing about if, if, if me and politics is... To give you a direct statement right there is yeah. playing a game that I'm not interested in playing. Okay. To don't, give you don't a direct statement don't right there. At the 2020 Golden Globes, Joaquin Phoenix's press room appearance took an unexpected turn. Fresh off his win for Best Actor in a Drama for Joker, Joaquin seemed less than thrilled about being whisked into the press room, where he felt tricked into answering questions he deemed old news. When a reporter asked about his preparation for the role of Arthur Fleck, Joaquin snapped, isn't this old news? Clearly frustrated with revisiting topics he felt he'd already covered extensively, he added with a hint of sarcasm, I feel like I answered these questions six months ago. Do you want me to change it slightly? Despite his irritation, Joaquin went on to discuss his intense preparation for the role, which included extensive research and weight loss. The actor's mood lightened a bit, when the topic shifted to the potential for a Joker sequel. Can you tell me a little bit about what research or what kind of, uh, what you did to prepare for this? Because this was really an intense performance. Um, what was kind of the process of getting into that mindset? Isn't this old news? Isn't this old news? Didn't I, didn't I, I feel like I've talked about this for six months. What? I mean, I, right? I mean, I feel like I, I, I answer these questions. These questions, you, you want it again, it's like a different, you want to hear a different version of it? I try and change it slightly, or what should I do? Um, okay. Will Smith. Usually when celebrities get angry with reporters, they shut them down verbally. But this time, something bizarre happened. At a seemingly routine film promo event in 2012, the unexpected happened. Will Smith, normally known for his easygoing charm, slapped a reporter in front of a stunned crowd. The incident unfolded when the reporter, pushing the boundaries of personal space, tried to plant a kiss on Will's cheek. Will had been greeting the press with his usual warmth when the journalist, known for stirring up trouble, leaned in for an uninvited kiss. In a split second, Will's reaction was both surprising and swift, a slap that echoed through the room. His face, usually so expressive and open, showed clear signs of frustration and dismay. The atmosphere turned tense as Will scolded the reporter for invading his personal space. Mel Gibson. When we talk about celebrities fired back at disrespectful interviewers, maybe the worst combination where both interviewer and celebrity are rude. That's exactly the case here. During a satellite interview with Chicago's WGN-TV, Mel Gibson's temper flared when entertainment reporter Dean Richards nudged him about his controversial past. Richards asked, do you think the public will see you differently after everything that's been in the news? Mel's response. That's almost four years ago, dude. I've done all the necessary mea culpas. Let's move on. Seemed to signal frustration. As the interview wrapped up, an unexpected moment occurred. Mel was caught on camera muttering a hole under his breath right upon taking a sip of something from a cup. The slip up drew immediate attention reigniting discussions about his 2006 anti-Semitic remarks made during a DUI arrest. The uh, public will perceive you any differently after all that's been in the news about you? 
what are you referring to specifically? Refer, <laughs> referring to the, uh, you know, the uh, drinking problems, referring to what's been called the anti-Semitic that's, that's, rant, referring yeah, that's, that's, all, all those I, things. I, I, you, know, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, that's almost four years ago, dude. I mean, I've moved on. I guess you haven't. Well, I'm just, I'm just wondering if you think that the, the public has, has moved on and will perceive you in the same light. Well, I certainly hope so. You know, it is a while back, and uh, you know, I've done all the necessary mea culpas. So, um, let's move on, dude. Right. Come on. Uh, Edge of Darkness opens uh, today. It's good to see you back in the saddle and uh, doing what you do best. Thanks a lot for joining us, Mel. Take care. Bye bye. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson put a Los Angeles entertainment reporter on blast after a major mix-up. During a live interview, Sam Rubin from KTLA confused Jackson with Lawrence Fishburne. The awkward moment unfolded when Sam asked Samuel about his Super Bowl commercial. Jackson, visibly taken aback, shot back, What Super Bowl commercial? Sam, flustered, tried to recover but had clearly made a blunder. Samuel didn't hold back. You're the entertainment reporter for this station, and you don't know the difference between me and Lawrence Fishburne, he demanded. You're busted. Sam, trying to lighten the mood, slapped himself in jest and apologized profusely. Samuel, ever the professional, added humor to the mix. I'm the what's in your wallet guy, he joked. Lawrence is the car guy. Morgan Freeman's the other credit card guy. You don't confuse him with Lawrence Fishburne, do you? Later, Sam offered a heartfelt apology, admitting his mistake and expressing his embarrassment. I didn't realize I'd confused him with Lawrence Fishburne's commercial. I felt so dumb I didn't even bring up the Captain America ad that ran during the Super Bowl, Sam said. Did you get a lot of reaction to that Super Bowl commercial? What Super Bowl commercial? You know what? I've been my mistake. I, you know, see, what? see, you're you're as crazy as the people on Twitter. Right. I'm not Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> That's my fault. Oh, I know boy. that. That was my fault. Uh, my mistake. You know what? We don't all look alike. Father, you're <laughs> exactly we right. all black and famous. You but are guilty. Don't look I am. I. I am guilty. Um, I'm guilty. Next question. I am guilty. He thought you were Bob guilty. Dylan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're the entertainment reporter. I know. Which one was the most shocking? 